It's been 10 years since the attacks of September 11th. Thousands of small businesses were affected. Many had to close up shops, some relocated, and one family-run jeweler has found new life in a new location just around the corner from Ground Zero. This is News on Main, your connection to small business. Carlos Gandia opened up Greenwich Jewelers in 1976, just two blocks away from the brand new World Trade Center. And for 25 years, the shop's location paid off until 9-11. At first, it, it felt devastating to walk into a, a business that the day before or the, the week before was running well. The walls were intact, but a thick layer of dust and debris covered everything inside the shop. Along with his daughter Jennifer, Carlos cleaned up and reopened. At first, they focused on returning custom-made and repaired jewelry to customers. We would do things like meet people in 42nd Street at lunchtime. It was an undertaking that, that we took very seriously. With a little insurance money and some government grants, they kept the business afloat. There wasn't too many people in the area. We were situated in a street that was used for hauling of debris back and forth. It, it, it smelled terrible. So you were no longer, by any means, conveniently located? Absolutely not. Carlos closed up shop and moved the business just around the corner. But with foot traffic still slow, they had to rethink their strategy. We decided to dig our heels in, change our hours, open on Saturdays and really give it a go. Jennifer left a career in fashion marketing to help her parents rebuild their business. Her decision to utilize online marketing was the turning point. By the power of reviews and giving good service, we started to see people coming to us from places like Harlem and Connecticut and outside of the neighborhood. Carlos has since retired and Jennifer now runs the family business with her sister. After 10 years of ground zero construction, they're eager for the future. We're really excited to see the memorial being completed. I think it will be one of the last steps in, in healing this neighborhood. I'm proud and I think I you're proud of, of where we are and, and the fact that we've we've managed to uphold our you know our place in this community as a part of downtown New York. A neighborhood business that was forced to adapt and evolve is now thriving more than ever here in New York.